it seems like nowadays everyone wants to become a programmer or software developer and it means that you will get some competition if you want to land a job. What can you do to get a competitive advantage? My advice would be use your strong sites. There are four different kinds of developers or features of developers that can make you desirable on the market. First one is attention to detail. I think this one is kind of hard to obtain. You either get it or don't. For example, I am not very attentive to detail. It, it's my weak point, weak part. And I compensate it with other points from the list that I'm going to present to you. But if you have this, if you're attentive to details, if you can find small little problems and you don't miss any sort of sloppy details when you develop a web page, for example, you're golden. It's very important and it already gives you some competitive advantage. If it doesn't, well, just like me, try to compensate with other points. And the next one is design skills. So if you're developing web pages, oftentimes teams don't get enough designers. I don't know how it happened, but in all the companies that I worked with, designers as a resource were very, very scarce. And often as uh, front-end developers, we had to use our design skills. So it's crucial to develop this. Luckily, Unlike the attention to detail, this thing can be developed. You can go through courses, you can read articles, you can just go through the surf the internet and uh, look at the websites, web pages that you like, pick up the patterns that work, and you can learn how things should be done, how it how to make the page look good, how to make small parts of your web page look nice and work good together. This thing you can focus on and develop over time, unlike the attention to detail. I wish I had attention to detail, but I don't. Let's go to the next one. Next one is also, I wouldn't say easy to develop, but you can work on it and get better over time. It's team play or collaboration. It's um, communication skills and all that as a complex of different skills. The way to persuade people, the way to talk to people and um, deliver your ideas and listen to other people's ideas. The skill to facilitate the discussions, to make sure that everyone in the team is heard and is listened to and generally just make your teammates to feel good around you. Those people often get crucial team members. They're valued and uh, it is actually very important to the team productivity because nowadays products that front-end developers and programmers in general are developing are very complex and uh, usually they're developed by teams, not individuals. So being a good team player can bring you quite far. And in fact, I consider myself being a good team player. Uh, so I think big chunk of my career success was due to my skills of communication, skills of listening and talking and persuading and uh, actually facilitating and being just a nice guy in the team. Or at least I like to think so. Anyway, the last one that is actually seen as default trait that every programmer should have and it's technical knowledge. In fact, it's not as crucial as you might think. And I would actually, if I would prioritize those points, I would put team player as the top one, next one design and the lowest one uh, technical skills. I'm not even mentioning the attention to detail because yeah, it is important. I have no idea how to fix it if you have the attention to detail problem. So, you know, but technical skills are kind of easy to develop because nowadays knowledge is not a scarcity, it's actually a commodity. You can easily gain knowledge about whatever topics you are lacking. One of the ways to improve your technical skills is to notice where do you lack them. For example, it can be useful to pass the job interviews because they often uncover the white spots where you lack your knowledge. But also, even during the job, you can pay attention where it was hard to use some feature, where you think you don't really understand how it works. And yeah, if you write some code, if you add it to the code base, make sure you understand how it works and it will actually help you develop your technical skills. Also dedicate some time to just reading articles. Oh, good one. Read the documentation of the libs you are using. It can help a lot. A lot of times I would just skip this step and um, rely solely on my intuition. And often in a couple of weeks or even a month, I would notice that, yeah, I should have actually dedicated some time to just read through the whole docs to learn what kind of functionalities does the lib provide. And also it's very important to have the right mental models of the code you're working with. What it means is that you can actually look at the code and then make it run in your head. And this is how we debug things and fix the problems. We try to align our expectations of how the code works with how it actually works. And this way we find the problems with those inconsistencies in those two running models, the actual runtime and the one in your head. So to sum it up, use your strengths 
as your advantage, be it design skills, technical skills, being a good team player, or maybe if you're <laughs> lucky enough, use your attention to detail and just know that I'm actually envy if you are attentive to details. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what kind of advice on getting competitive advantage you have. Leave them in the comments, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also join my Discord server where we discuss topics related to frontend, React, TypeScript and uh, overall web development. See you in the next video. Good luck with your career.